This is Twit. What's the deal with the name? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I think you you you, you said it mm. last time. We we mm -hmm. wanted a, a memorable name. Uh, yeah, we were we, talking about it on Mac Break Weekly. <laughs> it was, uh, and, 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 uh, it's just M M H M M. It is memorable. It's it's a palindrome. You know, I, I I always wanted a palindromic name. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And as you yeah. said, I think on another interview, you said it's performative. You tend to want to perform it. Yeah, uh, that's that's really the main thing. Is this is a sound that uh, anyone can make without thinking about it, right? Everyone just says, mm-hmm, all the time in conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's actually kind of tough to say intentionally. Um, <laughs> you have to pause for like half a second because you can't just say it. You have to perform it. You have to think about how you're going to inflect it, how you're right. going to pronounce it. And it's a name that you can't say thoughtlessly. Like every other company name or product name that I've ever seen, you could just say it without thinking about it. And mm -hmm, you can't. Every time you say it, it's like a little micro performance. <laughs> and uh, since the product is for performing, we kind of thought it was cool too. I like it. It is. Uh, it is a um, virtual camera that you can use to create uh, more interesting Zoom conversations. And uh, you're on Skype right now. You said you had to do a little bit of uh, hacking with Skype. Oh, look! It looks exactly the same. Oh, now you have a, a brick room. <laughs> It's a virtual background. It does a very good job of the virtual background. That's hard to do well. Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of really cool things um, that you can do with it. But yeah, people should just watch that uh, that YouTube video. Uh, it's it's we've had a tremendous amount of fun making it, and you know this was our first uh, kind of post COVID quarantine project. So this is the you know it is it is our first kind of lockdown native. Product. I like it. Your timing is obviously very good. To make this, yeah. yeah. Before. Uh, it is right now invite only. Are it you, is, yeah. Are you going to charge for it? What is the deal? Yeah, I mean, this is a, um, you know, it's very much a, a Godfather three uh, moment for me. This is a, you know, every time I try to get out, they, they drag me back in. It's going to be a premium <laughs> model of some kind. Was Evernote your first? My first freemium? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be freemium. There'll be a free version, um, and then there'll be something that you pay for, uh, but we haven't figured out exactly what. The plan is to spend uh, the summer in, in, in beta. So in beta, everything's going to be free, uh, and uh, we just want to work with people to do interesting things with it, kind of figure that out, invite more and more people through uh, into it, and then we'll, we'll go live in early fall, and by then we would have figured all this stuff out, hopefully. You can go to mmhmm.app to uh, sign up, get an invite. Uh, when those are available, mm -hmm. dot app. I think it's fun to play with. There is a, a threat because virtual cameras don't always work. Like Zoom, it comes and goes. Like we've used uh, Snap has a virtual camera uh, that we that we <laughs> practically had to ban from our Zoom meetings because people were coming in as giant fish and all sorts of sorts of things but it it can't it like it would work sometimes and then it wouldn't work sometimes because it seems like the software sometimes allows virtual cameras and sometimes doesn't what is you probably are very are intimately familiar with this issue what's going yeah, on yeah so uh you know we don't um uh, i guess the short answer is that you, you only need the virtual cameras for one of the use cases which is the video conference meeting use case and there yeah it works it works great with uh all of the newer versions of Zoom, uh, they basically reintroduced virtual cameras just like a week ago. Uh, they, they were shut off for a while while they made some security improvements, but they're back. So it works with Zoom, with Google Meet, with Microsoft Teams, with Blue Jeans, with just about everything. Um, but I, I think the video meetings are like one use case, but I actually think the, the, the streaming use case is, oh, is probably bigger. Okay. It's just for people who want to make right. content. Right and or to make presentations, so there's there's a lot of stuff that uh, that isn't just video meetings that that I think people do. So we like I feel I feel pretty good about about the state of it yeah. of where it works and yeah Skype uh, Skype it doesn't work with, so I've had to like I've had to seriously abuse Skype on my Mac to get this to work. <laughs> which I don't recommend other people do. So are but virtual cameras well a, sec else. a security threat? Is that what is it that Zoom didn't like about them? Uh, I don't think virtual cameras themselves are a security threat. I think uh, the way that uh, apps handle plugins of any kind might yeah. be that they're, okay. they're not done correctly. So I think okay. they, they, they took them out while they kind of hardened their whole plugin architecture. Got it. That makes sense. 
yeah, they've been working hard to be more secure. Yeah, they're, they're number one you know, feature. But yeah, they, they, they brought it all back. Uh, and um, Because yeah, people uh, like virtual cameras. <laughs> yeah, and again, I don't. I, I think the the idea of a virtual camera, like that's not a long term concept. Uh, but you'll be able to do this sort of thing inside of any video right. presentation, you know, permanently. And we'll, you know, we'll 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 navigate through just like we did with Evernote and all of all of the other companies and figure out the best ways to do it. And, you know, for for whatever year we happen to be in, you know, in twenty twenty right now, it's it's virtual cameras in Zoom. It's you know something else in other platforms. All that stuff are just technical details. Microsoft has added uh, custom backgrounds to Teams, and one of them is <laughs> is really absurd. I, let me see if I can find it. It's not on this uh, post. It's a it. You're, it looks like you're, everybody in the large meeting. It's it's not on this post. Everybody in the large meeting is uh, in an auditorium. If I can find it, it's just ridiculous. Oh, that's their yeah, press photos. That. If you if you see the, just Google the story, and I bet you're going to come up with a. Teams Auditorium uh, virtual background, maybe. It's so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here it is. It's called uh, Teacher Mode <laughs> or Together Mode. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Or, or, you know, John Malkovich mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Very just weird. The same person. And then it's obviously that, that like, just replace, put John Malkovich's face in all of those. See, if we all looked like John Malkovich, that would be great. That is John Malkovich mode. Yeah. That would be John Malkovich mode. Yeah, this is uh, this is everybody's trying to figure out. But this is, as you point out, Phil, this is just for right now. So you have uh, ambitions beyond just the the Zoom era. We're going to call this the Zoom era that we're in. Good. Well, we we'll, do we'll, have ambitions. We'll play with it a little bit.